There's a fine line between a healthy rivalry and pure unrelenting contempt. He was like a little toxic kid, to be honest. Him and his friends were always so serious and all that about a game, so we didn't like them for that. When two great players truly hate each other, animosity can get in the way of success. I beat him so many times in a row, like he got so mad. It got to like an, an actual like point of hatred for one another. But victory doesn't come from hatred. It comes from finding similarities and coming together. Well, there was kind of a common enemy. We kind of just grew as friends from that. That spike super might just do the job. The super fast OG, and he gets it in! What a goal from OG to Team Synergy! Because when two polar opposites can come together to bury the hatchet, the greatest of enemies can become the perfect team. Zor gets the kill, Bobby's alive! Three seconds left and stamina are your BSC champions. SDMA! Okay, so before we get started, I wanted to give a big thank you to Qualcomm Technologies and the entire Snapdragon Elite Gaming team for making this episode possible. Mobile esports are on the come up, and we're excited to share this new scene with you all. Today's video is brought to you by the Snapdragon Elite Gaming Team. For champion level gameplay that's sure to leave you feeling triumphant, make sure you check out the brand new Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, powered by the fastest Snapdragon ever and available right now. Okay, back to the video. So before I tell you about the incredible story of Bobby and OG and about how their fierce rivalry became an unlikely team up, I probably have to explain what Brawl Stars is. If you're an average North American esports enjoyer, chances are you're following one or more of the major PC games. But there's an expansive world of competitive gaming happening on the phone you're probably watching this video on. Due to the accessibility of cell phones, mobile gaming, and by extension, mobile esports, is a worldwide phenomenon. And a big part of that boom is Brawl Stars. Basically, it's a top-down 3v3 shooter MOBA hybrid. Think League of Legends meets Overwatch, but on your phone. The game quickly developed a burgeoning competitive scene that drew in two young gamers in particular that were itching for a new experience, Bobby and OG. However, due to the CODs and 2Ks he was used to, Daniel Bobby Levitt wasn't too keen on giving the cartoonish mobile game a try. The very first day Brawl Stars came out, my friends showed me it, and I was like, man, this game looks awful. I'm not going to play it. Like, you guys aren't getting me to download it. But once he got into it, Brawl quickly became more than a side game for Bobby because he was really good at it. Bobby shot up through the ranks and was invested enough in the game to start uploading highlights and tips for Brawl Stars to his YouTube channel. What's going on guys? My name is Bob Marley and today I decided that I'm going to be starting a YouTube channel. I'm a top player who's been at the top of leaderboards for almost a year now and I've been playing since the day of release. But Bobby wasn't the only one trying to become Brawl Stars best. At the exact same time, just across Toronto, Matthew OG Arellano was also investing countless hours into Brawl Stars and creating content for the game. My first mobile was like when I was in like high school, like I had like an iPod Touch, like I played like Temple Run and stuff like that. And then I got Clash of Clans and uh, I got pretty addicted to it, I'd say. Everyone got like an in-game notification one day about Brawl Stars, like this new uh, game going into beta. So we all just started playing it and uh, I ended up playing it the most. <laughs> yeah, I just never really looked back after that. Both players were high on the leaderboards during the beta and began to make names for themselves in the North American scene leading up to the game's global release. And being as good as they were, Bobby and OG were very aware of each other. But they weren't just rivals in-game, they straight up hated each other. This is going back to the very, very start of the game. Um... He, he was he's older than me he's about five years older than me so when i started playing i was kind of immature and he was more of an adult and so me and my friends were always really immature and then so they they didn't like us for that and then him and his friends were always so serious and all that about a game so we didn't like them for that and then it got to like an, an actual like point of hatred for one another but he was just like one of those like toxic like online kids kind of and then uh, you just kind of like mess with like me and like my uh, Brawl Stars club a lot and stuff like that. Now, Bobby being an immature teenager is par for the course, especially in the context of competitive gaming. However, it didn't end there. Bobby's trash talk went beyond a little Discord BM, sometimes even taking things a bit too far. Bobby, like, 
got permissions, mass kicked one of OG's clubs. I think it was like one of the biggest at the time. OG was like rightfully annoyed. Luckily, Bobby did grow up. Life experiences, like living in the city on his own, helped him mature. And thanks to some mediation from coach and mutual friend Sward, Bobby and OG were not only able to quash their mutual beef, but even become friends. Eventually, Bobby and OG started making content together. And as their friendship grew, they realized that their best chance to become the best in the world was to team up in the game too. Okay, like there's a lot of good players, obviously, but like, you know, you wanna play with like the best players you can possible. And uh, I think that's kinda, like we both like always thought each other was like good at the game, even if we didn't like each other, <laughs> so. By the end of the year, the duo signed with Space Station Gaming, one of the first large orgs to sign an NA team in Brawl Stars. This was their chance to come together and take down their other rivals in the scene. Well, there was uh, kind of a common enemy for, for both of us. We kind of just grew as friends from that. You know, we were both good at the game. We're both from the same city, which is pretty rare for an online game. We're both kind of on the older side of players. So being, you know, more mature and, you know, having someone your own age rather than playing with people like, in his case, like 10 years younger than him. Right out the gate, Bobby and OG proved to be a very dangerous duo. And it wasn't just because of their deep brawler pool. It turns out that all the things they used to hate about each other were exactly what made them a perfect team. Where OG was mature and methodical, Bobby was fiery and aggressive. They kind of have opposite play styles. OG likes to play pretty passive, but he doesn't like to really give up ground. And then Bobby, he's not hyper aggressive, but he definitely has a more aggressive play style. And so there's definitely a benefit of having this sort of innate coordinated aggression or innate coordinated passivity. Now Marcel and Bobby are both sitting on there. A super great pull onto Marcel. Opens it up and there's the gravity from Crying Man to bring them all together. That's two down for INTZ. Space Station Gaming, they're going on the offensive and a great pull again from Bobby. Finds themselves the barley. They've got a near open goal. Find the opportunity and Crying Man with the equalizer. Unfortunately, the good times didn't last long. The pair's early success was marred by factors beyond their control. SSG decided to pull out of Brawl Stars and sold the team to IX Gaming. And with new ownership came devastating contract issues. IX had the intention of taking Bobby and OG, like their roster at the time with, I believe it was Alec26 as well, with kicking them all off of the team that they had had and then putting different people on that team. And the reason was to preserve the points that they had so far earned to qualify for the World Finals. Bobby said, no, I'm not going to be kicked off this team and refused and was kind of held hostage under that contract, but OG stuck with them. Eventually, they were able to buy themselves out of their contracts with IX so they could move on with their careers. However, even after signing with Team Stamina, Bobby and OG struggled to actually win events, plagued by a long list of second and third place finishes. Just 10 seconds left in second, has that sticky start mixer in his back pocket. Bobby's not gonna be able to walk this one in. OG tossing it to Bobby, but is he gonna be able to get it? No, no pass to Toonie. Toonie's not able to get it in either, dying to Barley. And that is going to be the match. And while they hit a wall, their rivals on teams like Tribe found success. But halfway through 2021, something finally clicked. Stamina picked up Czar, a young Mexican pro whose playstyle was a perfect balance between OG's tactical patience and Bobby's aggressive firepower. And with the addition, Stamina found almost immediate success, winning their first Brawl Stars championship with a nail-biting grand final against Tribe. And we're down to the last few seconds, but OG kicks the door open and steps forward onto the point. Oh my gosh! 10 seconds, Stamina Esports step forward, they're owning it, Zor gets the kill, Bobby's alive! Three seconds left and Stamina are your BSC champions! Even looking back at it now, my best career play was in that match, Zara's best career play was in that match. For that to be in the same match in, uh, 
in a best of five when we've had hundreds of those by now is is pretty insane we won by like two percent in the last map and on double match point and even more than like winning matches at worlds or something like that it was kind of like a, a new level for us which we haven't been at for a little bit and that was really awesome to have with our new teammate tournament after tournament stamina and tribe battled it out for any supremacy but even though they had seemingly found their groove bobby and og still had a lot to prove internationally. They were finally at the point where some considered them the best in NA, but they were far from the best on the world stage, falling in the world finals top eight to foreign opponents. They need to deal that 1% damage, otherwise it's the end of the journey, it's the end of NA's hope in this season's BSC. Five more seconds, they're still far away from the safe. I don't know if they can do it, that the defense is on board for a totem. They are going to the semifinals. Fantastic play out of the Italians. They hang on. Man, what a match this was. Uh, it truly felt like SCMN were not willing to leave, always fighting back. So heading into 2022, Bobby and OG had a new goal for themselves. In addition to dominating NA and crushing Tribe anytime that they could, they wanted to go further at international events. Unfortunately, at the 2022 Mid-Season Invitational in Sweden, they faced their hardest opponents to date, Zeta 1. It's still in favor of Zeta. They need one more kill or they're out. Oh, <laughs> I thought that spirit was gonna change the game. Honestly, if that was flipped around by that and I didn't realize they had Blue Star, I was gonna go absolutely mental. But Zeta do take it. They go to the finals and they're gonna be waiting for their opponents. Other than that first set, which had me really believing STMN were gonna come out swinging and take even more sets after that. But Zeta Division, they fixed some things, they fixed their team play, they fixed the mechanics, and they took the win. Despite the loss, OG and Bobby had gone further than they ever had in all their years of playing professionally. And now that they knew what they were capable of, Stamina came home and dominated the rest of the year domestically. Everyone on Vanguard Gaming is super low on health as well. Bobby is able to keep on chipping them down to keep them on low health, but Frixie is going to try and counter out Zar at every possible turn. Here's a super forward. Zar has that kill. Bobby has a super too. We gotta see some wiggle walk, some ankle breakers in order to make this happen. Super down the left lane. Super comes in, residue and the shot into Wesley. This is the goal that I've ever seen one. The passes should come through. One, two, three, STMN, force it in and take the lead after 30 seconds. This is the stamina we are accustomed to. Their aggression, knowing exactly what they are capable of doing. I feel like I'm looking at a different team here, a different yeah. stamina. This is not what we've seen in the regular season. A team that was constantly struggling. Otis has a super in hand too, and that's gonna be a huge factor here. OG letting the money loose, pain marching forward, RBM super in hand. They need to make something happen. The clock's running down, a dash forward. They're looking for the last second kill. They don't get it. STMN make the dream happen. The hugs all around the celebration. They're going to Worlds with a bang. Stamina's performance throughout 2022, both regionally and globally, proved that they could hang with the best in the world. But still, in the back of their heads, OG and Bobby knew what was waiting for them at the end of the year. The question was, could Stamina go further than they did at MSI, or would they buckle under the pressure? Canada, Mexico, USA, STMA! Along the center of the map as VTZ is muted, ends up going down to OG on the right hand side. This is a big opportunity for SCMN to get to match point. Can AC Milan's, uh, AC Milan Clash's defense hold up? Still a 2v3 here, a nice kill from VT Zim. That spike super might just do the job. The super pass OG, and he gets it in! What a goal from OG, the team synergy! Zara also really needs the speed. Bobby with uh, really the only range to contend with the two oh, points on the left. Oh man, that was nasty there from Bobby, but it's not over yet. We've seen how Boss and Ala SSJ can pop off in the final seconds. Here comes the tick super, take down onto Ala SSJ. Boss goes down and we're going to yet another match point. STMN are not done just yet. Zara has to stay alive, good takedown from Bobby. Good reflections from the guy as well. Takedown onto Boss, Hoppy has to get the slow, there's the kill, but he gets countered out, and STMN look to equalize the capture percentage on the point now. Huge plays from Stamina. 
because now they're taking over the lead and we're getting so dangerously close to the finish line. A damage, uh, sorry, a healing station that gets shut down incredibly quickly. A kill from Zara on the left. Bobby takes down the mid player, gets the final kill and Stamina are going to the semi-finals. Stamina pushed through the bracket to make their second international semi-final, but a familiar foe stood in the way. Zeta won. Moya Goku could get pinched though if he's not careful. Here's a shield. Czar, he has to use that final phase shifter to get to the back line. Shitapo with a super away after a kill onto OG. This one's chalked. It's a runaway for Zeta Division 1 and a dominant one at that. Here comes the freeze frame on the right side. OG takes a lot of damage. Shitapo falls. Just a few seconds left and only a 5% differential. Bobby's gonna go for it. He's charging for it, but Moya Goku wants this. Here comes the damage through. No, Shitapo arrives just in time. OG still trying to create some space. HP wise, it's a bit miserable on the side of stamina they're forced out of the zone and Zena division one are getting close and closer to the finish line the super from og as well is it gonna be enough it seems like Zena division one will end it right here right now stamina are out and Zena division one are going to the grand finals once more after the loss bobby and og were obviously crushed, but they still achieved something amazing and had plenty to be proud of. What we achieved halfway through last year to the end of the year was the most that any of us have ever achieved by a long shot. We kind of won every important tournament, went as far as we ever have in an international tournament twice in a row. Suffice to say, Bobby and OG had a tremendously successful year, and despite being two of the older players in the game, they have no intentions of slowing down. And what's more, these once bitter enemies are now actually housemates. Bobby and OG turned a bitter feud into one of esports' greatest and most heartwarming team-ups. Their shared experiences have turned them into devoted allies both in and out of the game. Their unique and contrasting playstyles helped them forge a legacy in a still developing scene. And although they are the unlikeliest of friends, they couldn't have done any of this without one another. Kind of realized, even though like at the start, we, we like actually did very strongly dislike each other, that he's probably my closest friend now from Brawl Stars. We've been teamed for like f over four years now, I think. I, I say that to Bobby all the time. Like if you told me like we'd be living in like a house together like four years from now, like I would have called you crazy. Like there's no chance, like I hate this guy, but uh, I know I can depend on him like more than anyone else in Brawl Stars if it comes down to it. And I uh, hope he knows the same. <laughs> Hey again, here at the end of the video and just wanted to give another big thank you to the Snapdragon Elite gaming team for making this one possible. And maybe after watching it, you're interested in checking out some high-level Brawl Stars gameplay for yourself. If so, I highly recommend checking out the Snapdragon Pro Series Mobile Masters Tournament, which will feature Brawl Stars and is set to take place on May 13th and 14th.